stand-up comedian. I host four podcasts as well as Wipeout on TBS and Nailed It on Netflix, Grand Crew on NBC, and yet somehow Jimmy's the one who needs a vacation. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> And even though I'm in every show on television, I didn't get nominated for one Emmy this year. <sighs> and that's because I actually got nominated for three Emmys! <laughs> uh, three nominations. Sounds like a lot until you remember that I do something award-worthy every single day of my <laughs> life. <laughs> I know, everyone always says, awards, they don't matter, but that, I love awards. <laughs> my mantle so when people come over, I pretend I don't know that they're there. <laughs> oh, that? <laughs> oh, that's just my Emmy. <laughs> I won it because I'm the best at television. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am so excited to be here. I'm feeling good. My COVID test was negative. <laughs> Thank you. My polio test, inconclusive. <laughs> so let's party. <laughs> At least one case of polio has been reported in New York City, and health experts believe it could end up here in LA very soon. So that's fun, right? <laughs> How is polio making a comeback? <laughs> polio feels like a disease that you should only be able to catch in a black and white movie. <laughs> Didn't we get rid of polio in like the 50s? Why can't we bring back fun stuff from the 50s, like potato sack races, smoking on airplanes? <laughs> And why are only bad things contagious? How come you can't ever catch anything good like an orgasm? <laughs> or, or good credit? <laughs> or a rich husband with a big <laughs> and a terminal illness? <laughs> I'd like to take a moment now to highlight what I believe to be the cattiest moment in the history of broadcast television. It comes to us from a local news station in Duluth, Minnesota. Nope, yeah, Minnesota, I got that right. I thought it was Missouri for a hot second. She <laughs> up. Anywhere. <laughs> Seems like not going well for them either. <laughs> Between the news anchors, Dan and Ken. Snoop Loops doesn't have a release date yet, but it will be available for customers on snooploops.com. I'd also put m those Snoop Loops through a drug test before I gave them to my children. No, I think the Snoop Loops are okay. It's, it's, you know, when it comes out with a brownie line, you gotta, you gotta look out. <laughs> good one, Ken. That was fun. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, good for you, Ken. Now get the f up out of here. You know how everyone's been talking about the great resignation where people are just like leaving their jobs after the pandemic? Well, if you hate your job and fear confrontation, there's a new thing called quiet quitting. That's when people emotionally and mentally check out of work and do as little as possible without getting fired. We already have a term for that. It's called your 30s. <laughs> and me, I'm not a quiet quitter. I do something I like to do called a loud leaving. That's when you say, I'm leaving in the most dramatic way possible. And someone chases after you and they're like, no, Nicole, don't go. You're the best guest host we've ever had at Jimmy Kimmel. You're the most beautiful, the most talented. I'm so sorry up your coffee order this morning, but congratulations on your multiple well-deserved Emmy nominations. <laughs> Speaking of new beginnings, in Wisconsin, there's a special new school with a unique and colorful history. This former strip club is now the place that the Ozaki Christian School calls home. In addition to the Spearmint Rhino Gentlemen's Club, the school also got a shopping center. Because it had been a strip mall, in addition to being a strip club, much of it had never even been built out. And so it was fairly easy for us to kind of turn that into classrooms. We took the drywall off of the windows because it was just a darker environment mm -hmm. in many different ways. And we've let the light in and we think of it as the light of Jesus. You know what they say, one pole makes a stripper, two poles make a cross. <laughs> The renovation cost $1.6 million, and they paid for the whole thing in singles. <laughs> <laughs> they actually didn't have to change too much. The stripper poles are now tetherball poles. The champagne room is now the juice box room. 
and the lunch lady, you can't touch her, all right? You cannot touch her, okay? <laughs> this story is near and dear to me because I love pole dancing. I've been taking classes for a few years now, and I thought it'd be fun to bring along my new friend Guillermo just to see how low he could go. Hi, how are Guillermo! you? Guillermo! Mm -hmm. Are you ready to get sexy? I was born ready. You were born ready? Yes. All right, let's shake our asses. So this is the place where you guys make miracles, right? Yes. Lots of miracles. OK, I want to be sexy. You want to be sexy? You yeah. know what? You're already sexy. Oh, I really like you. You're so nice. <laughs> Thank you. Let's start with our feet nice and wide, all the way down, hands on the floor. How does that feel, you guys? It feels painful, but. <laughs> painful? Yeah. We're going to open up to the front, to a side lunge. Oh, Yeah. I think Booty. you can see my huevos <laughs> in the mirror. Your huevos? Yeah. Oh, your We're balls? Slide my balls. To the other side. Oh. Nice my and God. straight. That's it. And just tiny little poses here. Up. 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 Just do this. I feel very tight, but you know what will make side. me feel very loose? What? Tequila. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. being sexy is work. Oh my. Hard work. We gotta work on our strength a little bit, so we're gonna do some push ups. Oh no. Oh, oh yeah. no. Can we do a set of eight? Just eight? Eight? I'll do it. Yeah, I'll eight. do it with you. I'll do uh -oh, it with you. Dear, I'm with you on this one. Oh, Ready? Me too, yeah. Okay, okay here we go. Nice, strong oh, plank. No. Pull in those abs. Eight. <laughs> Seven. Lower your elbows, not your hips. Six. <laughs> Five. That's it. Bend them more. Four. <laughs> Three. <laughs> two. <laughs> one. All right. Okay, that was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my whole life. Did you guys do all eight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, great. This is brutal. Okay, so we are going to get started with some nice basic spins. Uh, but before we do that, I actually wanted to check out uh, your walk. Oh, see? See, beautiful, gorgeous. Oh Guillermo, God. see how she swings her hips? Yeah. And she keeps her chin lifted. Uh huh. Each foot, yes. move your hips. And what are you looking at? Who are you looking at? Who are you dancing for? I'm dancing for Beyonce. Oh, okay. For Beyonce. Well, then keep your eyes forward on Beyonce. That's it. That's yes. it. Wow, what a difference. Yeah. All right, so Nicole made a special request to do a fireman spin. A what? Fireman spin. Outside leg comes here. And then you can land. Give me some, give me some. Uh, you have a phone. A phone? Yeah. Why do I need a phone? Like, to to call, call 911 or call an ambulance, <laughs> but make sure you have a phone ready. You okay. got us, we're ready for you. I have a phone we'll catch ready. You. All right, ready? Ready? Yes! Good. Land out, Ooh. booty, yes! Ooh. This is supposed to be fun, but it's painful. <laughs> Guillermo, if you were a stripper, what would your stripper name be? In Spanish, I would be La Reina. La Reina. And you know what La Reina means? No. The queen. The queen. Yeah. Oh, ooh, yes, La Reina. La ooh. Reina, La Reina, La Reina. But you know what? If that ever happens, you can make something out of it. Because remember, yes. we learned some floor work. Yeah. Uh, OK. Yes, That's an option. I'm going to do a fan kick. Fan kick? Holy <laughs> Squeeze your elbow forward. Yeah, a little more forward. Mm. The, the top arm in front of your face. Good. Jimmy Kimmel hasn't paid me enough for this. <laughs> my dear, my dear. Go across. Oh. Ready? Yes! Yes! Now, do you think you can do the split part? No. Land I don't into think a split? So after I'm here, I go like. Uh huh. And then all the way down. Keep going. Yes! Yay! That was pretty sexy. I'm not mad at it. Oh, no. All right, let's go get some outfits. Let's get some outfits. You don't sound excited. Let's I get want some you outfits. to say it a little bit All more. All right, excited. let's go get some outfits. La Reina! Hi, Hi ladies! Yes! Oh. yes. La Reina. Oh. Yes! Oh, sorry, yes, La Reina. Ooh, I like that finish. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes! So I want Lorena to come when I host. I want you to keep practicing. I want you to dance when I'm there. Okay. Are you gonna have tequila for me? I'll have so much tequila for you. And a better outfit than this. I will have a beautiful outfit made like, for you. Like a, I want to be a, a sexy security guard. Your wish is my command. If you want it, let's do it. Ride it, my pony. Now it's time to put Guillermo's skills to the test. Lou, would you do the honors? And now. Coming to the main stage. 
reigns the royal of the roadhouse, La Reina.